It's time to go Inside Innovation, brought to you by DMI. Well, as aircraft engines continue to roll off the production lines at GE Aviation and Lafayette, workers there are also producing what are called digital twins. Each uh, engine that leaves the facility has one. Joining me now with more on these cutting-edge digital replicas, please be joined by Inside Indiana Business reporter Kylie Belletta. Kylie. Well, thank you, Gary. GE Aviation in Lafayette manufactures about eight engines per week for planes familiar to the average airline passenger, such as the Boeing 737. On each engine that rolls off the line in Lafayette, there are about 2,000 critical characteristics that will help determine its performance. While workers assemble the engines, they're capturing data on each of those characteristics, creating a digital twin or a computerized electronic replica of that engine. Every single flight, sensors on the actual engine collect information about the engine's performance, and that data is downloaded either during flight or once the plane pulls up to the gate. A single flight to Europe is enough information to fill a computer's hard drive. It's then transmitted to the digital twin or the electronic version of that engine, so it's always up to date with the actual engine in the field. GE Aviation Lafayette executive plant leader Eric Madison says this allows GE to monitor remotely an engine's performance and predict things like maintenance issues, ultimately reducing costs long after the engine has left the plant. For a customer like an airline that's flying these engines, you know, the vast amount of data that comes off of the engine isn't as interesting to him as when we can tell him that, hey, you're going to have to take the engine off here at this date. And now we can plan together so that it doesn't impact that aircraft and service or, you know, to the flying public. And then we can get, uh, you know, get a lease pool engine down there, do the swap overnight, and the plane takes off and flies the next day. So we're maximizing his asset. We're maximizing the total value proposition of his aircraft and equipment. GE can look at a single digital twin or combine many to produce a big picture perspective of an entire fleet of engines. The concept is being applied across many industries. GE is working to increase digital twins for locomotives and healthcare equipment, for example. While digital twins are becoming more common in the manufacturing industry, GE says it's one of the companies leading their adoption. Gary. Amazing technology. Now, big data, Kylie, as you know, it's important for big companies, small companies, but how does GE really make that, that data relevant? How do they bring it to life? Or they say they've been collecting this data for 15 years now, but they had no way to analyze it or make sense of it or make it mean something. Right. The Internet of Things has been the game changer. It now all flows freely into a single mm -hmm. database. They can do predictive analysis on it. And in fact, he said it helps humans make smarter decisions faster. All right. Great stuff as always. Thanks, Kylie. Thanks, Gary.